Okay. And how bad is the, the injuries and whatnot? Where you are? Is your face burnt? Like two face? Wait to find out what you went to do. Yeah, wait to find out. <laughs> I, how did you get out of the building? That's a lot. How did you get out? <laughs> I had to drag myself mm. to the side. Mm. And uh, I'm not even going to say it. I was playing dead because I didn't want him to stick me more. Mm. Then I was, you know, sometimes you got to just cool out a little bit. And the sprinklers came on. And the sprinklers came on. Yeah. Okay, um, now a lot of people want to know, is art imitating life? It Does Sean represent your son? You see that? Uh, yeah, Look. I knew that somebody was going to ask. Well, it he should be me, right? He yeah. was a little sheltered. He's sheltered like my son is. Like he, there's a, it, it's not a metaphor for him, but I was able to draw from that. Mm during the actual performance. Mm -hmm. These points that you can use something, especially when you can understand how someone else can completely not see your your thoughts or your feelings. Mm -hmm. You know, like from there, you, you're looking at it. it. It gave me a place to go to make that scene real. Mm. How you does know? Kanan feel about it? Like, not 50, but how does no. Kanan feel about killing Kanan, his There's son? a conflict there. Like, he doesn't, he wouldn't ideally want to kill his son. Mm. But just the, the codes of everything that they do with the lifestyle have been violated. So you, you say, because the kid chose this lifestyle. He came and told him, mm. this is what I'm doing. You got to accept it. I'm not playing basketball anymore. Mm. You know, and then he's, he's actually got himself into a scenario where he would be easily someone, a victim of ghosts just deciding if not to do something to him for an act of Natasha that way. Mm -hmm than to just say, drive over here, meet me over here, but there's drugs in the car. Now you can go do 10 years like your daddy just did. What does Kanan love? Does he have feelings? And what, what drives him? What does, he, what does he get emotional about? He's he already invested in the lifestyle. Mm. So he's trying not to create vulnerability by having something that he loves so much that he can't make a move if he has to. Mm. So even the, the relationship with with Sean's mom, you can see him identify with someone else being involved and accepting it. But he said, she got a boyfriend when you see the shoes. And he says, you got somebody good that you can count on mm -hmm. or trust, you keep them. You don't actually fuck that person over anyway. Mm -hmm. And this is why he's able to continue. Like, he's telling this to Sean. Like, the value of having people that are good people that he can appreciate that, but he's not trying to have anything that you, that's not his woman, actually. He's saying, I got a bond with your mom that we are forever going to be down with each other, but he's identifying with there's a boyfriend and she does have a boots and I've been away for 10 years, so I couldn't be that for her, so why would you argue or fight? I'm just happy that she's happy. And she didn't bother to touch the money the entire time I was gone. Mm. My, I was only one, person, that. Yeah. only one person in my life that I could give everything that I have and just go away without instructions. Mm -hmm. And she passed. It was my grandma. Wow. My grandpa, because she would hold everything. Mm. She said, no, I'm holding The baby might need it. Because mm. that's just the way she perceives me. And my grandfather would give my money to his kids. Because mm. he sacrificed. He's trained to sacrifice. He's also always gave my grandmother his money so she would be able to take care of all of us. So... He'd be like, oh, Kurt, Kurt, get a lot of money. He's going to get more money, huh? And he's saving himself He's going to give it to the weekend. kids, That's yeah. to everybody right. else, you know? So it's just, it's really it's really cool that there's, there's things from our communications that fell into the actual series mm. that make it more personal to me. Mm. So Because I watch it and go, yo, that's like this. And the experience has to be different for people who uh, grew up around me. Mm to see it because they see those things as it goes like yo this is crazy like you see how this happened and then they, they they have a whole nother dialogue that has nothing to do with the show word Courtney um, now that Sean is gone now who can Tasha lean on for to confide in will she have a love interest this season well Tasha has to actually go through that process of growing up mm -hmm. you know the move to Sean was an, was an immature woman's move 
Mm. You know what I mean? That's like a man. I lost my man. Let me get another man. And let me get this boy, too. I mean, this is not even a man. This is a boy that she was messing with. So the process for the character of Tasha for over season three and, you know, seasons beyond is going to be a, a, one of maturity. That's what's really going to happen with that character. So we're going to see her grow into a fuller person. And it's someone that she can control. Mm. Yeah, that's what Sean was. From yeah. the actual experience itself. Like, if, if you view a person like they're like, wow, like, it's like, it's pretty tough to match women when they have su success and they're beautiful women. Mm. You know, because it's, it's like a beautiful woman is equivalent to someone who's uh, successful and publicly noted on the male side. Because mm. that would just mean he's significant in, in, a, in that area. Like, because stability is attractive. Right. So it adds to his physical attributes. But if you thought about it and you said, it's like, when you see relationships and it kind of looks lopsided in mm -hmm. our culture, like uh, shh, like Mariah Carey with Nick Cannon. Stop. Or like Jennifer Lopez with the dancer down front. Right, right. Or uh, Janet Jackson with Jermaine Dupree. Mm -hmm. There's different things. It feels like it's lopsided, but it's just because your perception of the woman, you go, God damn, look at this one. We keep them on the pedestal. Go, yeah, it's like all the way up there. Right, right. And then you go like, you regular ass motherfucker. Like, you's a regular guy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did you get with... The... It just it feels lopsided. It's because they're nice. Yeah, Because a lot of men aren't nice to it's women. Just they being... just aren't nice. And so, that's so easy. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate y'all. But you see what I'm saying. I see like, exactly that, what y'all the thing that Tasha would have at that point would be not what, like what Ghost is, it's like what Puffy was with Jennifer Lopez, moving and doing other things and everything. But when she's with the dancer down front, <laughs> there's focus. Right. <laughs> True that. 